Hello everyone. In this video I show how to build a rhombic triacontahedron by mathematism. To do it we need 12 starfish shapes. So the first thing I'll do is having built 11 of those 12, I'll build the 12th. To build it start with a pentagon ring. Add two layers to it like that. Add a magnet to the center. Then build another pentagon ring out of five magnets and add just one layer to that. And a magnet to the center. Then sandwich the smaller one inside the larger one and square up the corners like that. Then add three magnets along each side. That's the center body of the starfish. These are four of the five legs. Let me now build the fifth leg. To do so, start with a um, hexagon like that, filled, and then add three more sides to it to form a triangular kind of shape with two magnets along one side and three magnets along the other. You'll need six of those. And then these are going to be stacked on top of each other, but offset slightly for each successive layer. So you can see that this second layer has been offset to the right with three magnets along the, the side. So, <clears throat> looks like that. So these are our five legs. To add the five legs, we're going to turn this center over, turn this over, and these two protruding magnets are going to connect right up next to these two magnets. And then the remainder just follows along. So, and these three magnets on the top get snugged up against the magnets of the, of the leg. And uh, this is how magnet or how magnetism left his stars. I add one more pentagon ring into the center of this, which helps to make it just a little bit stronger. So it looks like this on the top. You can see it's concave and concave on the bottom side. So that's uh, those guys. Then to connect these starfish together, these 12 starfish, we're going to need these vertices. Uh, we need 20 in all. I've built 19 of them, so let me now build the 20th. And uh, what's done is exactly the way we are doing with the legs. You build a 3 by 2 shape like that, build another 3 by 2 but then this time, instead of um, putting in the same direction, you're going to offset the direction. So that now you can see that the, the side with three magnets is matched up with the side with two magnets on the top layer. And then you need a filled hexagon 
on the top. Just uh, centered on the top. And then these one, two, three, four magnets that form a square here, we're going to put a magnet in that hollow formed by these four magnets in three different places. And this is the shape that is used for the vertex. As you can probably see, if we were to add one more layer to the bottom, a triangle that looks just like this, but oriented with its points here, here, and here, you'd have an octahedron. So it's really an incomplete octahedron. Then we'll also need these to fill in the vertices, the top layer of the vertices, and those are made by creating a hexagon out of six magnets and pinching it into a triangle. So now to assemble the shape, we're going to start off with this as our, our starting point, add, <coughs> add vertices to each of its five corners like that. So you can see that I've added it in such a way that the bottoms match up, but there's one layer missing on the top, and that layer we actually fill in with uh, these triangles. I'm going to wait to fill in the rest of them because they distort the uh, shape as they go, so we'll fill those in at the very last minute. That'll be our starting point for the shape. Now we're going to add five more of these starfish shapes onto this shape. And we will need to place vertices on two of their five sides. I'm going to turn this over. Turn this over and build it from the bottom up. Now to put it all together, I'm going to match these two legs that don't have vertices on them with the two legs of the original. And then proceed around the circle in this same way. So I'll have one, two, three legs without vertices on them. Rest this here, hoping for the best. Then I'm going to need five more to make this next layer. Each of these starfish will need one vertex attached. Okay. And then we're going to attach these now to the shape.
And then we add this uh, final starfish onto the top. And then at this point, I'm going to fill in the missing corners. Quite a strong shape. It rests uh, reasonably well on one of the rhombuses. Thank you for watching.